don't do that. <laughs> Tell about me. some goofy shit at my work. Perfect. So I, I've told people that I work at a welding place. We yeah. make uh, animal cages, yeah. right? And and surgical tables. Yeah, yeah, and surgical tables. And you know what's ridiculous is that, um, dude, I fucking hate the way shit is run at my work because the thing is, everybody there is old money, old school. Mm -hmm. Me meaning by that, I mean they've been there for fucking 40 years. Mm -hmm. So I have to work slow for them to be able to have a job there. Right. Like literally there's 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 workers that will be hired for a position under somebody. Mm -hmm. And if that person who is above them sees them working too hard, you're fired because you make me look bad. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Sure. That shit happens it's all. Sensible. It, it's fucking bullshit. And so uh, a lot of people... When there's no work to do, they go in the fucking bathroom and just fall asleep on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing about this is, I, I mean, I mean, there's just car bad karma going from every direction. The owners are mad that there's people doing this. They don't know how to regulate it, but they don't want to go in the bathroom because the bathroom is so fucked right. that they don't want to go in that bathroom. And you don't want to wake anyone up. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's that'd be... That would not be cool. Super rude. Yeah. And so, I mean, but the other funny thing is that- Wait, what's that, wrong with the bathroom? Dude, it, I mean, it, it's like a bathroom in train spotting, in a, <laughs> you know, some England or Scottish bar, you know? Yeah. It's fu it, the, it, dude, it smells like a rotting carcass of beaver. It, like, the, the the we have a trough- Wait, specifically beaver? Of, uh, of rat, of fucking <laughs> Chicago rat. Those banana peels you slip on yeah. the spine, you know, it's fucking so bad. And it's because our sink is, uh, you know, like those troughs they have at baseball games to piss in. Mm -hmm. That's our sink. There's there's like a sprinkler that comes out. You, you yeah. press this pedal down mm -hmm. and it's been clogged since I've worked there. Oh, Jesus. So there's, <laughs> you could see like flies skipping on it. Like it's a pond. Uh. It's fucking rotting water and they never want to like... As soon as someone makes one complaint, then they finally like use a plunger on it, but they don't give a fuck. The, the toilets, I mean, the toilets are always where you flush. They're always spraying with water, literally like a sprinkler. So when you take a shit, you're going to, like, people know, oh, yeah, you took a shit today, huh? Because it looks like you got sprayed with a hose down your back. <laughs> so... I mean, I wish I could put my ass higher so it'd be kind of like a duvet. Right. Ooh. You know, Probably, yeah. But, uh, yeah, no. They're, they're, a but bidet. So, yeah, oh, bidet. Bidet is the butt thing. What's I, think a a I think a duvet is like something for your bed. Oh, okay. Well, uh, anyways. The they don't want to fix it. They don't. And the funny thing is they're trying to figure out how to regulate when people go there and how long they're mm. there. And the, the other funny thing that the people who are doing this sleeping – there's a motion they want to. They, there's the the bosses are so cheap that they the motion sensor is only on for like five minutes. So every five minutes, whoever's sleeping has to like wave their hand <laughs> so the lights go back on. You know. Wait. So, oh. So when, could, don't could, you want the lights to go off though? If you're taking well, if a nap. They, well, if they go off, then that means you're sleeping because you haven't mm. moved. So they have to you know oh, God. activate and, and then so here's my long ridiculous fucking story. I work Monday through Thursday, 12-hour mm -hmm. days, uh, and I'm just looking at time. And so, we, we're, yeah, 12-hour days, and uh, th uh, Monday through Thursday. So Wednesday, I my mom gave me this Starbucks card she didn't want, so mm -hmm. I was, like, getting all the fucking goodies there, and I go. It's like the Baha'i Temple all over again. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, so so I, I go and get like usually a cookie and a coffee yeah and they gave me like for some reason there's like three workers rushing at the because i came there like during lunch mm -hmm. they gave me like two extra cookies because nice. they kept giving me that i'm like all right i'll take this yeah i didn't get my cookie yet all right i'll take <laughs> this yeah i didn't get my cookie yet and i had these fucking cookies and i left them on l like my welding bench mm -hmm. and i come uh, you know, Thursday is my last day. So I took Thursday off because I had a stomach flu. I come back Monday and all my shit is fucking ripped apart and gone. Just all over. Like, and I go to my boss. I'm like, you know, did you, do people just fucking work here and take people's food? 
And the other reason why I was mad was, so when you when you get a stack of like say cage doors to weld, mm-hmm. there will be a stack of like two hundred, and you and you have them all set, and you have to like take one down, put it down, and then re- make a new stack of the mm-hmm. welding, right? When I get these stacks, there's always like a fucking petrified half donut in these stacks. <laughs> So I keep thinking, like, are you fucking kidding me? There's just fat asses here yeah. working overtime on Friday or something, and they and they just eat our shit and uh, I'll leave this in this pile. Yeah, you know, I guess I I found a donut, I found a petrified fig Newton, I found like half a sandwich, yeah. you know. And he's like, oh, it was probably squirrel, <laughs> and he just smirked and like laughed. I'm like, you fucking douchebag, like you ate it. Yeah. With that fucking smirk, you know? Yeah, your shit eating grin. Yeah. So I I I'm I'm like, what the I'm so pissed off all day. I'm talking to everybody like a fucking alcoholic. I'm just so fucking mad. I Wait, never, how do alcoholics talk? No, I'm just like, yeah, what the fuck is next? No, let me I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Leave me alone. You know, just <laughs> Yeah, just, this is how I talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, I'm just so, pi- and then he, and then he tells me w- w- we are going to have meeting at the end of day at the end of day, and you know we had this huge meeting. Everybody, they're they're talking about that there was a theft in the company, and they didn't, you know, obviously they never want to specify what it was because mm-hmm. for whatever reasons, but you know they're like, well, if w- this whole time I keep thinking it's about people's food, yeah, like your cookies, yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, somebody did. <laughs> I'm glad it was reported. <laughs> Fucking assholes, you know. <laughs> And 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 I guess it was something way more. It was like um, it was some like remote control sensor for like a really high tech cage. Like uh, so, some of the cages they have a uh, like temperature control. Mm-hmm. So it was something like actually expensive. Yeah. That got shipped in, and the person just ripped open the box, fucking you know, bagged it, and then like sold it online or something. Yeah. So she's like, if you just put listen, something was taken, and if you just leave it here at the end of the day, or even tomorrow morning. We will forget about it. We won't do this, and don't do it anymore. You are you are fucking up people's reviews, and we can't give raises when things like this are stolen. And I'm just like, yeah, I was leaving those cookies. Yeah, the, you know. Yeah, come on. And the whole time, I'll be honest, because I'm a clueless, fucking privileged white guy. So this is what goes through a fucking idiot's white guy's mind. First thing I'm thinking is like, fuck. I hope they don't blame it on the black guy. Sure. You know, yeah. just for the fuck of it. I hope they don't, because that's going to be so fucked up. Coincidentally, he's also the fattest fuck on the floor. Sure. So I'm like, he totally took yeah, the cookies. Yeah, he took the cookies. But it I was him. But I can't say it. Yeah. Right. So so this whole time I'm thinking it's about the cookies and the fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Concluding story, nobody knows what happened to this shit. As of to now. The remote. The, the, yeah, to the to remote. To the remote or your cookies. To, to the remote, to the expensive shit. Nobody, st- still, nobody, it wasn't like turned in. Nobody fucking knows. As far as the cookies, they found it on a saw, on a fucking table <laughs> saw with little nibbles in it. Oh. And and they were pissed, like that day that I was gone, the when I was sick, they, they failed to mention this to me and let me be in alcoholic piss mode, you know, that they, the bosses were mad. They had to fucking pay three guys for like four hours chasing a fucking squirrel <laughs> around around the, which is so ridiculous because yeah. we fucking make cages you know <laughs> that's that's like somebody fucking robbing a gun factory we only know how to make them we don't know how to use them you know? like oh my god so yeah it, it was squirrels yeah it was squirrels. Oh, that's fantastic so uh yeah they found my cookie i i could not eat it it was covered in aluminum shards ah and uh, probably would have added a fun and, and texture. You know, you know the weirdest fucking thing is that mm. um, uh, have you ever heard of, like I've heard this before that actually you know because like Americans are kind of known to be hostile and and uh, handsome uh, and, and, and well, well, no, well no I've heard this that in ca- Canada squirrels are so comfortable with humans that they will run up to you and you can feed them out of your hand. Okay. And in America, like, kids are always, like, shooting them or throwing rocks at them and shit. At at least I knew growing up. Sure. And the weird thing is around this factory, like, all the squirrels are so fucking comfortable (laughs) with people. I was, like, uh, there's this tree I sit under during lunch outside to get fresh air. And I was sitting there one day, and there were were two squirrels running, and I was just laughing because it reminded me of my cats. Yeah. 
because one of them like bit the other in the neck and then mm. it's running away and i'm watching them and the one squirrel is like oh he won't get me he doesn't have the balls to do this and he they keep running towards me and i'm like i wonder what they're gonna do he jumps up my leg first tries to crawl up my pant leg like mm. like, like in my like fucking, inside yeah then he runs up my leg then he runs up my shoulder and then i don't feel anything because I, cause I see the other squirrel running, and I'm just like, oh, yeah. whatever. And I keep eating my sandwich. As soon as I tilt my head, he, like, dives, like, bounces off my forehead. Because he was on my shoulder the whole time. <laughs> so, they're, yeah. That's wild. I don't know. We we need a guy in a tower with a BB gun over there. Yeah, right? Or, yeah, get get some get your pack of 10-year-olds to yeah. go over there and abuse them. Yeah. We yeah. were just burning squirrels in the fire. I think I'm ready to take a break. Don't do that. (laughs)